Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Bat Batiste, and I've got not one, but two trade ideas for you today that piggyback each other. Let's take a look at that. But first, let's take a look at the market. Even the S&Ps down $9 in change. And take a look at what's going on here. you got the Russell higher, NASDAQ a little bit lower for the first time in quite some time. That NASDAQ Russell pair, Russell overperforming the NASDAQ with the Dow down five handles. Really, I think the big story is volatility down another 13 cents after raising its head above $20 with the e mini S&Ps only down around 13 or 14 handles. They're only down nine and a half right now. Volatility has collapsed greatly from 20 down to 13 and a half, maybe giving some legs to this market or maybe putting a floor on how much lower we go for the overall market. That's not really what I want to talk about. I'm going to go into a trade today and the first thing I'm going to look at is my watch list. I'll make this a little bit easier for us and just put in what I traded. That's Tesla. Uh, Tesla today is up $2.24. The Ivy rank is only eight. It's relatively low, but look over the last five days what's been going on. Well, it was up just 6% a moment ago. It's up 4.5% that the IVX five-day change, something I really like to look at when volatility is high. Is 8% 8, 8 IV rank high? No, it is not. I'm trying to make a story here, looking for new trades. I closed my trade in Tesla, I believe, on the 17th. We'll take a look at that. Um, in a moment, but I'm putting on a new trade in Tesla. I think as the stock goes higher, volatility in Tesla is going to go higher too. That's if the stock goes higher, volatility in Tesla goes higher. Let me zoom in here a little bit. You can see you've got an ever so slight uptick here as the stock goes a little bit higher, kind of the inverse of an ETF. An ETF like SPY, Qs, or IWM, um, or the Dow, when they go lower, volatility goes higher. Some of these high flyer or X high flying stocks, when they go higher, volatility goes higher. And it's had a nice run here over the last five or six days to the upside. So I'm going to put on a new trade in Tesla. Tesla's been one of the better performing stocks for me. I told you I had two trades to put on here. Of course, you know we like to look for 45 days as the optimal uh, time frame here. You know what? I looked at the weekly options with 38 days. They're not bad. They're 10 cents wide. You certainly could go in there if you wanted to. You look at the open interest. There are thousands just about on every line. I guess if you want to do the weekly options, you could in this example, in this stock, because it is such a liquid stock. Now, I'm going to go to July with 59 days because I like to keep it uh, all even in my account, meaning all simple. I'm always in the monthly options. I'm going to do a double ratio spread here today and a strangle. But let's go to the double ratio spread first because I told you the trades are going to piggyback off each other. And I'll tell you what I meant in a minute. I like to go to around that standard deviation, that one standard deviation. Um, so I'm going to buy right around, there you go, this 16 delta. I'm going to buy the 155 put, and I was able to go $10 wide on here. Now, if you're just bullish on Tesla, you might want to do this one by two ratio spread. It would be completely bullish deltas. It's five and a half long deltas. It's got a 92% pop, and you collect around $5 a day for the risk that you're taking on the buying power effect of around $5,000 uh, in your account. I did both sides because I'm omnidirectional. I don't really, I'm not bullish, I'm not bearish. I love this embedded long $10 wide put spread that gives me a break even at 135 plus the credit I received. So let's call it down around 134 or so. But let's take it a step further because I'm not just going to do this one side. If I was bullish, that's the side I was due. I'm kind of just neutral on it. So I'm going to go to the upside. I'm going to go around the same delta, that 15, 16 delta. I'm able to go a little further out to the 245. I'm going to buy the 245. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to the Yes, the 245. I'm going to buy the 245 call one time. And let's see if I'm going to sell the 255 calls. Uh, make sure I have that off. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. And I'm getting $2.54. I was just able to do this at $2.63. That's the difference of that IV rank going from only up 45 
from six where it was just a moment ago. Um, do I still like the trade at $2.53? Sure. Do I like it better at $2.63? Of course I do. Pop of 86%. Uh, percent. Why is it less if you have collecting more credit? Well, you have risk to both sides on the trade instead of just one side of the trade. Um, your delta, which was before on just the one, was positive five. It's negative two. I consider that delta neutral. And your theta decay is positive 10. So you're doubling the amount of theta decay uh, that you get for the same amount of buying power as only doing one side. For that, you get a little bit lower pop, $2.54. With your break even, $10 higher to $2.65. Plus the credit you received, that extra two dollars and fifty or sixty cents, which brings you over two sixty-five to around two sixty-seven and change. It also makes your downside even better because uh, you're going to have to add that two dollars and fifty-five or sixty cents to the one thirty-five and change, which brings you down to about one thirty-three or so. So you get a lot more bang for your buck. You get uh, instead of having only a dollar twenty or thirty, you're getting two fifty or sixty, and it's the same amount of buying power on this trade. Now, I said I'm going to have a trade that piggybacks that because maybe you don't want for some reason to have this embedded long $10 wide spread, but I thought for the podcast and for you who follow along on the follow page, I will get to that uh, in a moment, uh, those who follow on the follow page might want to watch or see how I trade um, both of these strategies, the broken wing um, excuse me, the Batman trade, which is a double ratio spread which I'm showing you here, and a strangle. Now, piggybacking the trade, I'm going to my break evens on here. I'm going to go down to around the 135. That was the strike uh, minus the credit before we put the credit in that I'm short. So we are synthetically short the 135 puts on that um, uh, Batman trade, the double ratio spread. And we are synthetically short the 265 calls. Now you'll notice that the credit you receive here um, is greater than what we received on just the the Batman trade or the double ratio spread that we did here. You're able to collect $3.25. I was able to do it for $3.30 or $3.31. I will check that for you in, in just a moment. And you're only using $4,000 in buying power with the higher amount of credit. So those people who look at the buying power effect versus the credit received you freaks are going to love this trade a lot better than the one that actually has a chance to make over a thousand dollars on the trade. Now, this trade can only make the credit you received on that ratio spread since you have the embedded long call spread that's ten dollars wide and the embedded long put spread that's ten dollars wide. You can make a thousand dollars plus the two dollars and fifty or sixty cents uh, that you that you. Uh, that you received on that trade. Now, is that un unreasonable to ask for? Yeah, it probably is. You're not going to pin the stock. You're not going to stay in that trade the whole time. I'm looking to make a dollar on either one of these. It will be interesting, and you could follow along um, on the follow page. Just click follow page here. You'll be able to follow along on my trades that I do here. Here you'll notice uh, is the first trade, a strangle um, at my break-evens on the ratio spread. See today's podcast. That's exactly what I'm showing you here. I got filled at three dollars and thirty-one cents uh, with the stock trading uh, uh, right here, a uh, dollar ninety, a uh, hundred ninety dollars uh, and change. And then here is the um, double Batman or ratio spread that I got filled at two dollars and sixty-three cents. If you want to take a look at my past trades in Tesla. All you have to do is put Tesla on top of there. I've already clicked Bob the Trader, and you'll see on 517, uh, I took a buck from the podcast trade on 5.9. So you can always follow along on every one of the trades that I do on this podcast, and that podcast is Option Trades Today, which I hope you guys are subscribing to. I hope you are liking the button. I hope, so hope you put a little comment down there. I'd love to hear from you, things you'd like to see or things you'd like me uh, to do. I'm always looking for fresh ideas. And I would love, I would love for you to open or transfer your account to Tasty Trade, take advantage of some of the promotions they have. I believe you can get up to $3,000 depending on how big the account is that you're either transferring or adding money to uh, just for doing that. They'll give you a nice little bonus. Check that out. Read all the fine print. And I'll see you on Thursday. Good luck to us all.